15 or 20 years ago, I had a friend of mine that has the saw just like this one. And when he showed me some of the capabilities and unique characteristics of it, I had to have one. Fortunately, the woodworking store in our area had a, a demo model that was on the floor of their showroom. And I was able to get this saw at a discount. And I want to show you some of the features of it and why I love it so much. I won't trade it for the world. This old jet table saw was known as a super saw. It's kind of a hybrid between a contractor saw and a cabinet saw. The best feature I like about this saw is the sliding table. It's not an add-on, but was manufactured that way right at the factory. So it's nice and solid and smooth and is perfect for cross cuts. You'll notice that the miter gauge is an integral part of the table and it can be repositioned in one of three locations on the table, plus it can be angled for miter cuts. The miter gauge can be moved further back on the table to enable me to cut wider work pieces. The Finch features a T-track on the front face and back face, as well as along the top edge. This enables me to add stops or any other accessories I might need to make an accurate cut. To cut really wide panels, I relocate the fence at the back edge of the table. When I need to switch over to ripping operations, you can simply remove the fence and store it out of the way. The rip fence has a nice cast metal head that makes it nice and sturdy, and the rip fence itself has T-tracks a total of four of them so that I could add auxiliary fences or stops or other accessories. I installed a Wixi soft fence digital readout. This enables me to position the rib fence in a precise location, but more importantly, reset it to that location if I ever need to during a project. The Wixi digital readout fits most saws without modification. However, the rip fence on my saw is a little unique, so I had a friend print a 3D bracket that I attached to my fence so that it would properly engage the digital readout. It's unfortunate that this model of saw or this type of saw was discontinued after a couple of years. So I think I'm going to keep this old friend around and use it for as long as I can. <laughs>